Hey there, sign of cancer. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. Hope you're doing good. It's a general reading, but um, we could be talking about anything here, cancer. I am offering private readings for donations to the channel. So if you're interested in that, check out the box below and I am going to get started on your reading. As I um, do, usually, and I meditated right before this to um, call in your angels and spirit guides uh, to give us messages that's for your highest timeline, Cancer. That's what I'm looking for. How to proceed and ascend on Cancer's highest timeline. <laughs> All right, that is... Hang on one second. So say that has gone way down there. There we go. That is the card that I got for you, Cancer. It says surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter into our lives. Go out and all will work out. Meaning, meaning there are some divine time timing. There's some divine timing that I, I feel like doesn't even get set into motion unless... Uh, we're either in a certain area or something like that. Uh, so, all right, so what do we need to surrender? And then on the bottom, I have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So, that's pretty good pretty um pretty good messages for you cancer let's go on to your tarot and let's see what that has to say for you so surrender at times we must surrender what is old so that the new can have room to even be thought of see the hanged one and i, I see it turned like this so I think that uh, for you would be, it's about time to probably end something here with someone or some situation, 10 of swords, a hanged one. It is, like I said, there's something that could switch divine timing into motion. And I, and I feel like it has to do with location. And dependent on you making room for this new or not. All right, Cancer, general messages for the next 48 hours. What is their issue? You are building something, Cancer. You're definitely building something with the King of Wands energy here, Master Builder energy. You are creating something, okay? And it's a big something. Creating a big something. Maybe with somebody else, it might be something. I don't know. It's just, if it's you that's that's this person, then Cancer, you're being viewed as intelligent, strong, powerful, influential, um, inspiring to others, beating the odds, beating the odds overcoming beating the odds what is the um challenge here for this king of wands ace of wands energy so which i, I think is kind of like this so i don't know if we're trying to um i don't like that expression there's an expression um but it, i'm not even going to say because i don't like it but like trying something over for a time and time again, um, trying to make something work that just doesn't work, trying the same situation out, feeling like you can change something with someone, and, and it's just, it's like there's something about uh, the lack of drive or chemistry. Let's say chemistry because vibrations, you know, we all, we vibrate. We have a vibration to us, and that is what ultimately we end up being matched with. So there's something that, like, no matter how much you s screw it, it you're trying to screw something into a square hole. It's not going to go. All right. 
What is the heart of the matter here? Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords energy. It's focused and she gets what she wants. Sometimes this is that um, no-nonsense attitude where no nonsense. Let's not use our feelings for this. Let's look at the facts and, and be real here. Now, what really happened and getting to the truth, um, seeing things and it, it could be taking a rigid stance too. you know, it could be taking like, um, like a black or white approach to something. And that's not, um, that's not really, so just be careful with that. You don't have to, this can also embody all the good things of the queen of swords, which is go getting what you, um, what you're targeting, like whatever she targets, she gets. Whatever she protects, she protects too. Let me tell you that. Whatever she protects, she protects. The past energy here. So that, that could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then that could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And here's this like childlike energy. Page of Cups allowing... Um, allowing hope hope for a new beginning this may have been the news of a child it could have been news or the beginning of a relationship in the past so this could be some this is something that's happened in the past so it's hopeful what is the now moment knight of pentacles in the reverse somebody is it, be, it whoever these whoever this um tarot reading is for cancer wise for you all cancers um, I'm running into an energy of feeling like, like it's moving nowhere, um, and feeling like the person is not either reliable or dependable, um, not pulling through for you the way that you need them to pull through for you or for, I don't know. So it's, it's not an offer that you're going to stick with. It's what it feels like. So it really does feel like that unless you're feeling that way yourself. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. What's the near future energy here? Near future energy for Cancer. And the star. It's not really in the reverse, but um, it's still not really upright. So it is hopeful. It's interesting. Both of these cards mean um, hopeful, wishes granted, um, more so with the star than the page of cups, but, um, with a wish granted. And those are like, those are dreams manifesting though. That's, um, dream cultivation. That's not something little. It's not a little deal. Um, and they have the crane that could be indicating a business or a, a birth opportunity here for someone. Hey, how do you feel? How do you feel? Like the hermit, like you don't want to be alone, and you're not going to be alone, though. You won't be alone. So finding a situation that is inspiring to you that you could look up to. That's what is important to you, is looking up to something or someone. Or that is important to you, and it's not being found in something in the now moment. So this hermit is coming in, having you define what this star is. So whatever your dreams really are, see you're wearing it around your neck here. And it does come true here in the near future. We have Virgo and Aquarius energy. The hermit found it's, it's a journey that only you can take. So you're not ever really alone though, because you have spirit guides and angels um, in your environment. So this is learning, self-study, possibly self-study, accepting, being alone for a moment. Energy is the Ten of Pentacles, like you're working on it. Like this energy is, it's in the mail. It's in the mail. Watch out for overdoing it with friends um, when it comes to making memories. There's something about a friend might be proving to be this not as dependable person um
why it's being t paired with the Knight of, or the Ten of Pentacles is what I'm looking at. So the Three of Cups, like I know in the reverse, it's either, you know, you either have an issue going on with the friend um, or this is an issue of overdoing it. it. It could look like somebody's going through some money. This might not be you. This might be somebody that is proving to be unreliable or ind independable because irresponsible, I mean, because of the way that they're wasting their money on partying, on how they feel temporarily. You know what I mean? So that's something in your environment. And I don't know how you can relate to that, but it's it's somewhere in your environment. So it's, it's telling you to just be careful how you're spending money and be careful of, of who you trust and who you let into your like inner world. Okay, your hopes and your fears, your hopes and fears for cancer, the knight of wands. <laughs> you fear that same person, the person that you seem to always have passion for, that's the knight of wands. The person that you can call and it seems like and you never stay mad at each other. It's always a familiar face, a familiar spirit, right? They feel like a familiar spirit. It's the Knight of Wands. So, you know, moving forward, just going after your own passions could be part of a subconscious fear. Whew, sorry. Like fear of success, you know. So, you don't have to take that as it comes to you. If it's a person, it could be a Leo Aries Sag. It could be somebody that, like I say, comes in and out of your life. That's kind of a constant that you always have a certain feelings for okay and the outcome here or projected outcome can always be different but we might want it yeah nine of cups so you will get your wish if you're not celebrating right now or if you are kind of worried about um money or having company around to celebrate i feel like wish granted because wish granted wish granted um that whole row is wish granted, wish granted. So be careful for what you wish for because it looks like you're truly going to get your wish. Justice will come in and straighten everything out. Karmic cycles end and restart. We can choose to withdraw our cup of love from anyone at any time if they have done us wrong. Just don't be resistant to change because it will um, cause conflict. It'll cause inner conflict and resistance to change and getting gaining control over your outside situation it is really important now. You're letting the outside influence or affect you too much um, compared to you need to be dictating in good alignment good alignment that's happiness being in good alignment that's good ha that's happiness so all right let's close your um reading out cancer let's get you this is the soul's journey the soul's journey and then i'm gonna see i'm gonna pull a card from the power to surrender deck which will let us know you know what you need to let go of like what are you hanging on to too tightly Coming out of denial is what we're doing, especially with this surrender. We are coming out of denial. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but replace replace it. This is the alchemy of life. Replacing your fear with awareness, with the insight of awareness. And adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And then look, we have abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. Yep. And I will get your power to surrender. Let's see what they want you to let go of. Since we have the surrender here, let's go ahead and pull from the power to surrender deck. What does cancer need to surrender? Nothing. So that's so surrender procrastination. I feel like you are because it was kind of in the reverse. And surrender your need to always be right. Give the gift of letting others be right. Be yielding, not rigid. 
This will help you resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. And then surrender procrastination is... Now it's time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Success. And an angel number. And we'll close it off with that. Whoa. Pretty scene. 777 seven, seven, and 25. Big change. Five fives. But this is talking about your intelligence and you have the ability to take in information. And, and so maybe that's why it's hard to not like jut in and, and try to tell somebody what to do. So holding, holding your tongue, biting your tongue um, or your need to always be right says 777. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that's unfolding or being revealed to you is part of purpose. A state of calm and peace in your soul. I am in flow. That's nice. I am in flow. That's happiness. I'm in alignment. All right. Sending you love and light. Bye, Cancer.